Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with Chef Jeffrey. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks for taking the time. So, before we get into the, the, the this, what yeah. we're going to show you here, um, what's your background? Okay, I'm uh, so I'm actually from Iowa. Um, I was uh, born and raised, and I used to cook with my my dad a lot, actually. Okay. Um, and uh, I knew from a super young age that I was going to be a chef, probably like 12 or 13. Really? Um, yeah, I started cooking professionally when I was 16, just at little, you know, like a Mexican restaurant and a, and a uh, pub and that sort of thing. But I eventually. Um, I uh, moved to Atlanta and I trained with a bunch of really great chefs there. Um, for I lived in Atlanta for 10 years. Um, I opened four restaurants as an executive chef, um, uh, one of which was in Denver and then now I'm here. Um, I would say most notably, um, my training was uh, largely French and uh, I'm, I, it always kind of carries throughout my food, kind of here and there. It's like. I love, I don't necessarily love French dishes every single day, but I think the technique always resonates in my food, the way that we touch and cook ingredients. Um, but yeah, and then, uh, you know, I've been here um, for about 10 months, and uh, we're just uh, working on Alderwood here. Okay, so what, uh, um, Alderwood, what kind of food is it? What kind of experience? When somebody comes yeah. in here, when you open, what is Alderwood? Okay, Alderwood is a coastal steakhouse and okay. oyster bar, and uh, some people, uh, you know, think about the steakhouse in a certain way, and it's, I think we're a little different because, you know, coastal is not only seafood, it's also the actual land on the coast, and I feel like we're trying to exercise a lot of expression of really fresh vegetables. Um, I would say that's probably the number one reason why I moved to this area is because of the farming practices. Um, it also happens that my business partner lives here, but that, that helps. It helps, but <laughs> yeah. I've been wanting to be in this area for a long time. Nice. About seven years I've been wanting to move here and this just kind of uh, came together. But, you know, Alderwood is, uh, yeah, we cook meat, yes, we cook a lot of vegetables. We have oyster happy hour. We have a full bar. Lots of really great cocktails uh, that are designed Which by. We're the, like in the bar area right now. Yes, yeah. we're, we're we're in the to be bar area yeah. right now. Uh, one of my mentors is actually uh, taking care of our bar menu for the opening and and coming down to train everyone. He's like a total uh, savant. Um, he's also just like a really uh, friendly guy, and I think he's going to set a great tone in the dining. Room. Um, I would say most notably, you know, for us, like, yeah, we have our normal dinner hours. We're also open a little earlier for happy hour for like, you know, cocktails, oysters, snacks, and that sort of thing. And then we're also open with our full menu until midnight. Oh, wow. And it's really important to us that we stay open till midnight uh, for two main reasons. Number one, I get frustrated when I go out to eat and I have to leave. <laughs> yeah. I like to eat late, um, and I think that, you know, if you got to eat dinner at nine, you should be able to enjoy yourself and take as much time. And as not you like want. I got thirty minutes, got to eat. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We're <laughs> so we stay up and late to cater to people who like to eat later, um, which you know would make sense. But then the other side of the, the of that is uh, to take care of the restaurant industry. I think that when people who work down the street get off work, they should be able to come out, have yeah. a really great dinner, and not have to eat fast food and pizza every single day they get off work. Yeah. Um, and then also get a full service experience even late at night. And that to me is a really huge part of, nice. of what we're doing. Definitely like fitting, uh, filling a void that Santa Cruz doesn't have. So, yeah, yeah. And, and when we were, you know, uh, we didn't have a full concept when I moved here. Like okay. my business partner was like, I got the space, I want you to be the chef. And when I moved here, we spent, you know, a good amount of time eating around town and really like thinking about, okay, what does this restaurant need to be so that we can, like you said, fill something that's yeah. not currently yeah. available. So where are we at right now? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right now we're in the middle of construction. Um, I would say it looks more undone than it is. Like we discussed yeah. earlier, a lot of our uh, 
big fixtures are actually being built off-site and then brought in. So we're standing at the bar. The bar will be built off-site. We have a great guy named Devin who's a, who's a fantastic woodworker. Um, you know, we have a line of banquettes over there that are being built off-site. Um, right now the mason is building our wood fire grill, which is kind of the, the centerpiece of the restaurant. And I think like there's this confusion when I say wood fire in Santa Cruz, people think pizza. Yeah. And it's not an oven, it's actually just a big deck and we'll have a rack that we suspend over the coals and we're just going to use wood fire as our primary fuel and flavor for cooking. Oh, nice. And to me, like, that's how I learned how to cook, which sounds crazy, but like, I grew up going camping. Yeah. So my dad and I, my grandfather, we would go fishing and we would cook over wood fire with a cast iron skillet or nothing. And that to me is like some of the best food I've ever had when I was like 10 years old in, in Canada eating wild fish, you know? Um, and uh, I, I think that uh, it's going to be. Um, not only an ambiance thing, but also a huge part of the flavor, I think, is is getting a little kiss of smoke on a lot of different ingredients. Okay, so I can't wait for that experience. When am I going to be able to come, yeah. to come in this door right behind yeah. the camera? We are, uh, we're, we're going to be open at the very end of November and, and open to the public first week of December. Awesome. So, and we're, we're uh, right now we're planning on unleashing reservations on November 6th but they won't that will be like you can make a reservation in December okay in November okay how do people make those reservations uh, we're going to have our website up okay. it's uh, alderwoodsantacruz.com okay. okay and uh, there will be a, a link to uh, our uh, reservation partner which is talk okay. t-o-c-k okay. yeah. um, they cater to um, a really uh, more chef driven kind of restaurant uh, concept they're uh, a, a smaller reservation firm but they do a really good job of highlighting restaurants that are more experience driven than just financial transaction yeah. of food for money and that's really we're looking to be more than just come in and eat we want people to to truly get lost when they're here and enjoy themselves and and um, you know, uh, we have a fantastic service team to accomplish that. Great, okay, I'm super excited. Yeah. So we got basically like a month and a half, month oh, or two yeah. months to go. Yeah. Um, all the links and information that he just mentioned, alderwood.com, all the different stuff, it'll be under this video. And um, we look forward to eating here. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Thanks a lot. Yep.